before we get started with the video today guys I want to let you viewers out there know that only a small fraction of you guys currently watching are actually subscribed to my channel so make sure to smash that subscribe button for instant updates about videos that I release and other announcements and also smash that like button to help my channel out enjoy the video yo what is up guys it is small back with another epic 7 video for you guys today and today I'm going to be talking about a source of gear that a lot of newer players don't really understand or really know about at all. And that source of gear is actually very very important because it will be your main source of late game gear for your rings, your necklaces, and your shoes which are the hardest pieces of good gear to come by. Now if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, of course I am talking about equipment conversion. If you guys don't know what equipment conversion is, if you go to your bag, if you haven't used these at all, you'll see that you have these blue chests. If you click on them, you can choose a stat. Now, blue is going to be flat stats, and orange is going to be your percent. Now, what you can use with these gems is you can actually craft gear with them, and you can actually choose the set and the main stat of the piece you want. Now, if you don't know where to do this, you want to go to your alchemist steeple. Let me collect this real quick. Um, and then you go to equipment conversion. Now, this will not be unlocked by default. The way you unlock it will be through improving your building and you're going to want to get to the point where you actually have this unlocked. I think it's unlocked on the last one. Maybe it's not. Anyways, you're going to want to unlock it. So the reason why you want to unlock it is because you can go into the screen here and you can choose any piece that you want. So for instance, if I wanted to create a necklace, I'll click necklace and all the, the stones or gems or founts that I have, I can put in. Right, So if I wanted to make a crit damage neck, I can put in crit damage, I select it, and then you can use these cores to choose the set. Now if I max it out for speed, you'll see that I have it um, at 100% to have a speed set. So if I craft this, um, there's a 100% chance that this necklace will be a epic piece because you'll see at the bottom left, I have it maxed out at yellow. Its main stat is crit damage, and the set I put in is speed. Now if I put like 50 of this in, right, like let's say I put 50, and I put the rest into crit chance, you'll see it still totals up to 70. Um, the chance will be split, right? So generally, you're going to want to make sure you guarantee that you have the set you want and you craft like this. And you'll see that it is going to be speed set, crit damage main stat, and epic. Now the subs are still random, so there still is some RNG. For instance, this piece is not really good. I could technically speed chase with it, so I, I guess I will. Uh, but yeah, by this method, you can make so many good right side pieces, which are a big hassle to make. Now, before you start doing this, though, make sure you max out the ingredient storage as well. Because I'm pretty sure without the ingredient storage, the amount of materials you have to put in is just way higher to get um, epic. Or you're going to have to put in way more of these cores, and these cores are hard to come by. Now, the best way to get these cores is going to be through hunts. So if I go to my hunts, right? Or not my hunts, but my pieces I've looted from this hunt event, for instance, right? Uh, what I usually end up doing is I'll end up usually just extracting all the blues. Um, now, you don't have to extract every single one. You can use them as fodder as well. But in general, this is what I do. And for speed set and for like immunity set, just the sets that you find that you need the most of, even purples, I may end up um, extracting. So, for example, like... Not that one, because that one's pretty speed chaseable. Um, this one, for example, it's not that great. I wouldn't use it. Like I could extract this one too because it's on speed set. And then you'll end up getting all these cores. And you want to make sure you have a good supply of them because you need them for your alchemist steeple, um, for the equipment conversion, and also to craft these charms. Um, if you guys want to create your random charms, you have to put in some cores that you have. So I just put in my like my leftover like effectiveness set or hit set cores that I'm never going to use. And I just use that as the fodder to make the charms. But yeah, getting into this. So why is this really good? Now for weapons, helmets, and chests, you don't really need to worry too much about because um, since there's less RNG, there's one less layer of RNG because the main stat is fixed, you will get a lot more better left side pieces than you will of right stat because right, right side pieces have a random stat, right? So by using equipment conversion, you can basically bypass this random stat RNG. So it makes it way more efficient to use your cores and your gems specifically for necklaces rings and boots so what you want to do is when you open up your bags and you go into the the gems you're going to want to use them on percent the orange ones for the most part um, excluding one which i'll go over in a second 
to make sure you can make your right side pieces on percent main stat. Now the main exception is going to be speed essence. So speed, as you guys probably know, is only going to be flat for main stat, and that's going to be on your boots. Now boots are actually the hardest piece to craft, especially for early game, because you're only really ever looking for one main stat, right? Which is going to be speed for the most part, unless you're running like a counter set or a different build, right? And because of that reason, you're going to have to actually go through more boots than any other piece in the game because you're only specifically looking for one main stat most of the time. Whereas rings and necklaces, you can use, you know, like, effectiveness rings are good, right? Attack percent is good. Effect resist is good, right? They're all good on speed set. Even defense percent and HP percent are usable. But for speed set boots, it's usually going to be mainly speed, right? So if you look at my boots that are 90, you'll see the majority of them are actually going to be the practical boots which is the ones you get from equipment conversion so for that reason you want to mainly use your equipment conversions uh, the gems on boots so i actually don't have any speed essences but i do have a lot of the, the chests saved up so let me craft a few um, but the reason you want to do this is because yeah you're only looking for one speed um, main stat anyways which is speed for the most part especially on speed set so yeah this is the way you do it the best and Otherwise, you go crazy crafting boots. I don't really ever craft boots. The only reason I would craft boots in the Steel Workshop is for um, just looking for speed set boots to extract for the speed essences, or not speed essences, speed cores to craft through here. So I'm actually lacking quite a bit of speed cores. You'll see I'm never going to be having a good stockpile of speed cores because of the reason that you're always crafting these boots. So what I'm going to do is look around and just extract some of the stuff that's not that great, right? And for boots, you always want to extract the um, speed set ones no matter what, even if it's like epic or even um, epic or purple or red, basically, that's what I'm trying to say. So for here, right, uh, I'm going to just extract everything I don't need. And I'm going to craft one more just for good measure because I want to craft at least like three of the boots. Um, some of these might be good, but I'm not going to walk it right away. I'll look at it later because I do have to look at my gear that I've looted anyways because I've been farming quite a bit for the Wyvern event. And let's go back to the boots here. Let's go make some main stat boots. And you'll see I can make two of these. Not quite three, but it's fine. And yeah. So this way, you are guaranteed speed set and speed main stat, which is very good for early game players. Uh, this one is not great. Low rolled. Um, will I roll it? Probably not. So I'm not going to even lock it. Let's do another one. This one is pretty decent. So we have max rolled crit chance, we have max rolled attack, and we have average rolled defense percent. If it just dodges flat defense, I can gem that out for like HP percent or crit damage, and it will be very, very good, especially on like bruiser type units. Um, so yeah, that's another, ex like that's an example of what you can do, right? Um, I mean, obviously, you're not gonna only be making speed set uh, speed main stat boots you can run them on immunity set as well um, and even like counter set right for some units that want to run counter you can run like attack percent so let me craft one of these so you guys can see but you'll see like this is pretty decent right um all high rolled i just have to dodge that flat defense so as you can see like equipment conversion gems are very, very important they give you very high chances at getting gear compared to steel workshop especially for right side now where do you get them so the way you're going to want to get them, you can get one through your guild shop, uh, through the members um, shop. You can also buy them every week with transmit stones, which I forgot to do. You want to do this. You can also get them from World Boss. And Hucci also sells them in his shop, which I really, really recommend, recommend buying. You'll see I bought all three of them for 600 sky stones. This is going to be your best source of late game gear. So make sure you buy them. Don't underrate them. Now, if you are very, very short on sky stones, obviously don't buy it from Hucci. Um, they're not really worth it because you're going to need your bookmarks to summon uh, but even more sources are going to be through expedition you want to make sure you fill this out uh, i did not have time this month to actually play too much so i didn't even do any of these but i will probably at least get to the gems these are very very easy to get a thousand points is not too bad another place you can get them is going to be from automaton tower which i still have to do as well um, i think it drops it on a certain floor yeah 415 and is there another one no 415 at least right and you want to make sure you stockpile these chests. Don't use them right away, right? They don't expire, so you just want to hold them in your inventory and just use them when you want to craft your, your alchemist steeple. 
Now that's why these gems are very important, guys. I hope that this video helped you out. And as always, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps my channel out, and I'll see you guys next video. Peace.